primeramente mis pancico ustedes pa omine Juan Tlazo Kamati thank you gracias to everyone every single person every single subscriber and even the ones that are just passing by like a paracaidista today I have a a very complex video to make because I don't want it to get misunderstood or lost in the translation. And uh, I want to emphasize that I mean no harm. And I'm not trying to instigate. However, this is news. Cholo news. And with that being said and established. Con eso dicho y establecido. Me gustaría decirles. Lo que yo pienso. With that said and established. With that being said and established. I like to let you guys know what I think. Of the situation at hand. First. Uh, with the. I don't know if, 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 if it correlates together. I don't know if it's a coincidence. I don't know. If it just happened. Or if they made it happen. Pero with the with the release of one reputable uh, homeboy from Sacramento, ese Chito Ranas, el Chito Frogs, with his release came a lot of domino effects. Uh, for example, for example, uh, up in his barrio Sacramento, people started comparing him to to uh, Rico Too Smooth and uh, it escalated to where Rico Too Smooth felt like he had to disrespect Chito I was going to say Chito Cano like the legendary Corrido Chito Cano but no, I am mistaken El Chito Ranas so con eso dicho y establecido um, Domino Effect the beautiful people from up north happen to do a video, a video, a music video. One of the rappers from Sacramento happened to do a music video at uh, the location where, where Chito Ranas is from. And I keep on trying to say Chito Cano, man. You guys forgive me for that, perrillos. Forgive me for that. And it's not nothing disrespectful at all. Chito Cano was a G. But I get it confused, you know, Chito Cano and Chito Ranas, Dagi, you know? So, the Norteños do their video disrespecting Tu Sabes, and, uh, and it is what it is. But now, uh, recently, in, 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 in the last, I believe, few days, uh, something's going viral of... Uh, of a homie from, I believe, allegedly, to not get anybody caught up, the homie ish from Pixley. And I remember when I used to go to Stockton, passing Baker's Fila, I, 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 would, uh, I would pass through uh, Pixley. I would see Pixley about an hour, maybe half an hour after Baker's film. I am not familiar with the area. I don't know who claims the area. I don't know who's in the area. But I believe this rapper, correct me if I'm wrong, but some people are saying that his name is Demonio, El Demon, rap name. And uh, he is from the, be from the beautiful blue team of the down south. So that's como. Uh, but apparently... His uh, community is, that's pretty much considered up north already, bro. North of Bakersfield is considered up north. In my humble opinion, I ain't nobody to validate that. So, the homeboy gets busy, you know. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I don't really know the homie's music, eh, Straight up. But I seen him do a couple videos with the homie, uh, Oxnard Pugs. Or somehow associated with Oxnard Pugs. I seen Oxnard Pugs 
kicking it with the vato. I don't know where they were at or whatnot, but that was a while back. Perro, lo que están diciendo, what they're saying right now is that this vato went to enemiga territorio. So what I'm trying to get clear, because I did not ask the vato, is if they went to a Norteño Barrio or people are saying it's a Norteño Barrio due to the fact that the homie is from Pixley and it's located up north. You see what I'm saying? So anyways, the internet is going cray cray. The internet is going cray cray. And right now, I don't know if this is going to spark a little challenge in real life to where it goes back and forth i hope it doesn't for those of you morillos that are listening to this don't engage in certain activity because nothing good is gonna come from me but i understand also if you're representing your barrio and, and that's how you want to do it or whatnot i don't mean no disrespect you know what i'm saying i mean no disrespect because when I was younger, I used to go to the Enemigas Barrio and troll them. So, it's kind of a, an oxymoron to be over here giving you my opinion, you know. But now that I'm grown and with this mentality, homeboy, I got to give you good advice. Otherwise, who would I be giving you guys bad advice, you know, like Chalucas, homie? Um, do do I agree? I'm not going to say I agree or disagree to not get anybody mad, bro. But, I mean, to me, I wish everything was unity. I wish everything was just one. And I wish not one Mexican died by another, by the hand of another Mexican forever and ever and ever, you know? But, of course, that's not reality. And, uh... It is what it is. And what's going to happen is going to happen. I cannot control it. So going back to the video. I guess there was a, about. About 10. 10 or more uh, homies dressed in blue. The blue team. Posted up in the red team. According according to. To what. Uh, the YouTubers are saying. You know because. I don't even follow that homie, or or if I do, I haven't even caught on to what really happened. But from what I've seen, a uh, shout out to a upstate point of view, listo. I think that's where I seen if 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 I'm not mistaken, bro. I feel like that's where I first seen the video, right? Uh, the details. So somebody posted on Snapchat, trucha with this. Vatos dressed in blue. They're right here in the red zone. Hey, to all my red zones, stay safe. Woo, woo, woo. And uh, con eso dicho y establecido, big guy, that makes me, um, that leads me to believe that the blue team was in the red zone. Red zone got mad. They started sna uh, shooting it on Snapchat. I don't know what happened afterwards. Uh, then they started trolling each other to where the blue team was like, Reposted that picture on Snapchat. Said you want to shoot a stop instead of taking pictures, and it goes back and forth. Same way that it used to go back and forth over here in my neighborhood with the enemigas neighborhood. I myself con eso dichillo y establecido with that being said and established. What do you guys think? You guys think that was a win or a loss? Do you guys think that was a big dub or a big L for the homie Demon? You guys give him his credito? You guys, uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Keep the comment section alive. And uh, let me know what you guys think as far as this whole thing as a whole. Like, um, is it bad for the community? Is it good for the community? I mean... They're the ones doing it, so let them do it. It doesn't matter. Does it matter to you? I want to know everything. I want to know everything. Y con eso dicho y establecido, no disrespect to the parties involved. 
in a mail. I see the mail troll 